hello guys today in this video i am going to demonstrate you how we can install mysql database as well as mysql workbench for accessing a database in mac operating system having or we can say running on a one chip so here i will search mysql in the google okay and here you can see i have here mysql downloads website here and now I will click here on MySQL downloads and you can see here this website is open now okay so I will go down and, and here I will click on MySQL community and downloads okay and here I will click on download archives okay and here I will click on MySQL community server okay and from here i will everything is already selected here so i will here you can see that one is arm base 64 bit dmg archive macOS 11 so i will click on here uh, to download it okay so basically this is built for m1 chip okay because it is based on M arm based architecture Okay, and it is the latest early you can see here, which is on December 20, 17, 2021. And now I will click on download here. Okay, and once I will click on download, then it will show me or ask me to start the downloading. So I will click on allow button here, and you can see the downloading has been started. Okay, and let this process going on. Okay, until this download completes. So now you can see downloading has been completed so i will click on here on the search icon to open that uh, mysql server in the in the like i can see in the finder okay and i will click on that double click on that basically and now on this here i will again double click on it to restart the installation and here i will click on allow for allowing to install listen okay and here i will click on continue again i will click on continue and i will click on agree here again i will click on install and here i will put my password so that just for the verification purpose okay to allow the software installation and now you can see uh software is i mean my school installation is going on here again i will click on next to set the password for the root okay so i will enter here my password and which should be the strong password like having alphanumeric character okay number and caps in small letter and now i will click on finish and again i will need to put my password here and i will click on ok after entering my password okay now you can see the database setup is going on now now it is installed successfully so now i will need to click on close and after click it is asking basically to move to bin so i will click on move to bin because installation is completed now okay and one more thing what i need to install now okay and that is mysql workbench to access this database okay so i will click on the back button here so you can see already my uh, download is, like all items are open so here i will click on mysql workbench okay and it would take me to its download page and here you can see this workbench is basically not optimized for the arm based architecture processing processors like f m one chip but still it will run on the rosetta uh, which is installed internally in the mac os for making the app compatible which is compatible with x86 or or 64 bit processors okay so here i i have clicked here on download and you can see downloading has been started okay so let this process going on to complete the download okay and now you can see downloading has been completed and here again i will click on this icon to open it in the finder and here i will double click on it to open it okay and here i will again double click on this icon of my sql workbench to start the workbench okay and now i will uh, drag basically we need to drag and drop into the application folder okay 
so that it should be running as normal applications or we can say for all the applications. so here i will click on open okay and now workbench should open you can see at the bottom it is in the process okay and now it, the workbench is open so one more thing what i need to do here drag and drop into the application folder and now you can see yeah, the copying process is going on okay so it's done okay and now here we can connect to, with our mysql server so what I need to do here, we just need to close it. I mean, sorry, we just need to double click on it. Okay, and here everything is already confirmed. We just need to enter the password. You can see username is root and it's uh, localhost is localhost 12306 as a port number. And here I will enter my password and click on OK to proceed. And you can see it has opened the query window where we can run the SQL. So here by default is open the default schema or we can say system schema so we don't need it basically we need this uh, we, we need to create a schema so that we can have our own uh, schema or we can say the database okay so i will click on create a schema i will name it as a test schema test underscore schema and now at the bottom i will click on apply to and then again apply to to create this schema so you can see now uh, we have a schema test here and again here i can create a table okay so here i will just put id as a column name i will also put uh, the type which will be integer okay and this should be the primary key okay so we don't know i don't want to put any default here okay default value and i also want to make it auto increment okay but i can't see any option here this is indexes option if you want to apply an index okay then that can be here okay and but i don't need uh, these things i just need the auto increment option here okay i think okay let me click on apply here okay so basically it will not be set from here so here you can set the top we have option of ai or we can say auto increment here again we can add another column uh, so let me name it as uh, name and it should be where care but i need to increase its size okay and which will be uh, 250 250 and i don't want to have any constraints here okay and now i will put address as a third column name okay and again its size should be 450 okay again here will not any constant now i will click on apply again apply uh, to create the table and you can see the table is has been created now and the name is new table. okay i need to change the table name so i will click here and let it name like account okay and now i will again click on the apply at the bottom again apply okay now you can see the name of table has been changed okay and now i need to enter some value here in the table so i will go to query one window here and and uh, you can also i mean open okay we can use okay i i, I don't have any schema selected right now so we can still use test schema to select a schema by this query okay and or, or you can also do here like select rows limit 1000 you can see uh, at the top okay yeah this one and here you can see right now we don't have any data in my database so i can put my data from here let me put id as one name as raj and address as delhi okay and now i'll click on apply again i will click on apply so now data has been entered into a database okay and now i'll select this one i mean execute this one and you can see i am able to get the data okay let me close this one okay so i don't want to save the changes okay let me save it okay like think this query is not saved so let me just click on apply maybe or we can cancel it but it will not allow me okay 
okay let me click apply here okay and let me close this one okay and close this one so let me write a query here okay select a star from account okay and let me execute it and you can see i am getting error that no schema is selected okay so let me also select the schema here by writing the query huge schema name and the schema name is test underscore schema and i will then put the semicolon here okay again here i will put semicolon and i will click on execute and you can see i am able to get the data here okay so i think uh, uh, that is all guys in this video okay i hope you have learned something new uh, to install the mysql server as well as mysql workbench to access the mysql database okay so thank you guys for